Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Jen, and um, I'm I'm going to be doing a new uh, video web series about uh, the The Walking Dead. Um, I saw the season premiere on Thanksgiving Sunday, which always has the season premiere during Thanksgiving Sunday. I even had a spaghetti sauce made, so I could have had spaghetti and uh, carol cookies to celebrate the beginning of the first se of the sixth season. But instead, I had a nice turkey turkey dinner, which is really filling up. But eventually, um, the first episode, the first time again, I found that the it was good. It was great. It was, but it was crazy. Like you really have to pay attention to it. Like there's the the flashbacks in black and white, which is pretty nice, but. And then, but the act, the color parts is where all the action comes in, and it's 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 the start of a new storyline, which is I believe it's the No Way Out storyline. Um, I'm really thrilled with this episode. Um, although there wasn't much Carol or Carl in there, like Carol only had a few scenes, but which is okay. But she'll be she'll have more coming coming and get coming up. So. Eventually, soon, she will leave the Susie Homemaker and go back to the badass. Uh, that is what I'm really looking forward to. I'm sure her ruse will, ruse will be all over. She'll show her true colors. I'm glad Morgan's back. I love Morgan. He's a great character. Um, he and Rick reuniting and eventually... Um, I know there's going to be some tension between the two because they have different points of view right now. And um, like Rick's saying, he doesn't take chances anymore. And then he he took a chance to save Carter. And then Morgan told him, I thought you don't take chances anymore. But eventually he has to take that chance now because um, it's still a dangerous world out there. And um but I, but I love the fact in the black and white feature that Morgan looked through Carol's disguise, through Carol's disguise and Carol being pretending to be nice and sweet to him, saying, "Hey, that's sweetie." Oh man, I was, I just laughed my ass off. But eventually, there will be some Daryl Carol moments. My favorite couple of of The Walking Dead of all time. I love them together. But eventually. There will be some down the road, but I heard it's in season six. There is going to be a Carol moment involving um, something, but they are under wraps and they don't know what it is. So eventually, the people get to see that. Then I'm really looking forward to it. And um, another thing I love was the hair part. Keith, the new character, he is. I love him. I love him very much. He is awesome. I loved his hair. And Eugene, oh man, uh, the hair thing is says, like in the love when Tara woke up from her coma, she told him, at least you're, at least you still have your hair. And then I just backed up. And um, there's a thing about, uh, a joke about peanut butter, but I thought it was, might be peanut butter bars, but I'm thinking maybe it's going to be a new recipe. So eventually, but it was actually Morgan telling Michonne, saying, Michonne, the last time you were at my place where I used to live, did you eat one of my protein bars? And she said, no. And he goes, oh, I swear there was only one peanut butter left. He says, what do you, well, I guess we all, another person talked about peanut butter. So eventually it was a protein bar that was made with peanut butter. <laughs> so I thought it would be like homemade peanut butter bars, but the protein bars, uh, Although they're very, very pricey, I'm just going to stick to regular peanut butter bars. And the joke, um, Keith and Glenn seem saying, I thought, he's saying, I thought this was a dry run. Glenn says, I should be delivering pizzas now. <laughs> so maybe for the mid-season premiere, mid -season premiere, maybe I'll switch the meal up to pizza and peanut butter bars. Or carol cookies, huh? But who knows? Yeah, wait, wait and see, wait and see. Um, another thing, uh, another part of The Walking Dead that I love very much, like, like Rick, uh, and Eugene was in the pantry, uh, 
was getting food and supplies, and Carter was talking to a group of Alexandrians uh, who wants to kill Rick for, and for taking away, taking their place. And then as soon as Eugene overheard it, uh, one of the jars came crashing down, and and uh, he looked, and Carter looked at him, and Eugene goes, "Hello." And so there was this argument, and then Carter pulled the gun, put the gun to his head, and then Rick, Daryl, and Morgan show up, and then um, Carol, and then Rick and Carter got into it. Rick grabs the gun from Carter. He points it at. He points the gun at Carter. He says. You think you're going to take this place from me, from Michonne, from Glenn, from Daryl, from me? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Oh, man, that was a great catchphrase. I loved it. And uh, so eventually, um, don't worry, if you haven't seen the season premiere, I forgot to add, spoiler alert. For, so if you haven't seen it, just don't listen, like, don't watch this or you will you will be spoiled so if i were you like watch the episode first then come come on my channel um but eventually the end like daryl going off trying to following those big herd of walkers uh, right behind him it's like a bunch of fangirls following him around and i'm just like okay daryl because there's going to be some big trouble ahead a couple of episodes. Like, you know, you saw the trailer preview of Daryl being tied up by some strange people. And, oh, man, um, this, uh, this is something i got to look forward to. Like, he's, gotta, he's bringing the badass back again. And eventually, um, and, event and eventually, um, <laughs> Jesse, um, I think Jesse is okay, uh, but her and Rick have a bit of tension right now because Rick just executed Pete, who is a real porch stick. So he, we don't miss him at all. But we do miss Reg very much, but it was just sad. And Father Gabriel, well, he said he wanted to help, but Rick said, no, I don't want your help, blah, blah, blah. And eventually, um, I like I hope Father Gabriel uh, comes around and learns his lesson for talking behind the group's back about them being dangerous people. Um, but eventually, um, we'll we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. And um, and I the part and Carl and Enid only had one scene together. And when in the by the pond, uh, when Carl went and held Enid's hand. In his hand, and Ron just saw the whole thing, and I'm just like, here we go again, another love triangle. Like, we had Lord, Rick, Laurie, and Shane, but it's a zombie apocalypse, it's not a soap opera. Come on, I just love this in the air for a few, a few people, but this is mostly about surviving. That's all I have to say. Um, and the, in the ending, uh, when, uh, Carter got his face chopped, chomped by the by the walker uh, when he tried to uh, when he tried to escape. He got his face chopped, ch chucked his face off by the walker, and I went, "So long, farewell, Carter." Um, he only was in one episode, but eventually Ethan Embry, who is a good actor, I saw him in in a Vegas vacation, can't hardly wait, and his show. Grace and Frankie. Eventually, he the show's gonna be back for a second season, but I think believe the show, The Walking Dead was his was just a guest appearance. That's all it was. It's just for one episode, but eventually he'll be going back to work very soon for Grace and Frankie. But eventually he was really good in that, and I love Grace and Frankie. Um, and uh, another, um, and but in the ending. Um, the horns go off, and I'm just like, oh no, I knew the, sh I knew the shit was gonna hit the fan sooner or later, but eventually, uh, it started, it's starting up, building up a storyline, but eventually, I don't know who's been hawking the horn, it either was the wolf, Ron, Father Gabriel, Enid, 
or another or other. Um, those are our five choices, but we have to wait until next next for the next week or the next episode after to see who blew the horn to lay all the walkers to Alexandria. Oh man, but uh, Carol, she's gonna be back. There's gonna be more scenes with Carol in the next episode. She's gonna kick ass. I fear she's coming back to kick ass. And when she finds out um, Daryl is in trouble, I just hope that she comes to her senses and rescue him because Daryl rescued Carol once, once, and it's time for Carol to, to do the thing to Daryl. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. I, I, I have high hopes, but I try not to get my hopes up. But it's gonna be a, it's gonna. I think season six is gonna be a good year, but. Truthfully, I think the last two season five premiere was so much better. More action, lot terminus blowing up, oh, man. Daryl and Carol reuniting, Carl and Rick reuniting with Judith, and Sasha reuniting with Tyree. God rest his soul. Um, well, uh, that is all I have to say about that for now. But keep, I'll be updating more more episodes when it comes along. I'll do a top ten. I'll do best episodes, worst episodes, most loved characters, most hated characters. I'll do a poll and um but eventually um I hope you really enjoy my uh blog and um I'll see you next week. So uh keep walk keep watching The Walking Dead, keep calm and uh have a good night. See ya.